Okay, so in this question, um, it says calculate the input when the output is 36. So they give us the output this time, all right? What comes out to the machine? We've got to work out what the input is. So we've got to sort of go backwards. And when we go backwards, we've always got to do the opposite, right? It's important to remember that. And the reason why is, of course, we, you know, here, we need to think of what number should go here, okay? But whatever this number is here, you'd need to multiply that by three to get 36, wouldn't you? Okay, so if we work backwards, what was that number originally? Well, we can do the opposite and divide, okay? So the opposite of multiply is divide. So if we divide 36 by three, we'll get 12, okay? So working backwards, you can see that would be 12. And then we go through this machine. Now we've got to think what number was there. And when we added seven to it, we got 12. But if we do the opposite, instead of adding seven, we take away seven, we get five, okay? So always do the opposite. And in part B then it says, find the, um, calculate the output when the input is N. So if they give you the input, it's N. It says then add seven to it. So I'll add seven and multiply by three, okay? So times by three. But remember, when I times by three, I need to put a bracket around it like that. So I can write it then, three bracket N plus seven.